But for the moment, let's turn to a very special place because the Northamptonshire campaign is calling on people in Northamptonshire to protest against the wall that's been constructed around the holy town of Bethlehem. Janice Hetherington is working on the issue with Leela Sansor, who lives in Bethlehem and has spent the last seven years making a film about the wall, which was built by the Israeli authorities as a temporary security measure. I spoke to Leila earlier in the week while she was actually in Amman in Jordan and she told me how the issue with the wall started. In uh, 2004, we understood that Israel will start building a wall around and inside Bethlehem. And it became clear from the maps and from the root of the wall that this wall is going to change the face of Bethlehem forever. I left Bethlehem when I was 18, just after school. I actually left it thinking that I wanted to seek a bigger life abroad. I thought Bethlehem is a small town. I kind of wanted a bigger experience. But in 2004, I was kind of maybe ready to reconnect with home. And it's unfortunately right at this moment when I started feeling I want to reconnect and build a bridge with my home, that my home felt like it's going to be running away from me or maybe disappearing uh, the way we knew it. And she says her father, who was one of the founders of Bethlehem University, was a big influence on her campaign and on making the film. I think maybe my father was always the little voice in the back of my mind because uh, I was very close to him as a child. And kind of our lives parted when I left Palestine because he was very dedicated to his town, to the advancement of education in the Palestinian territories. And I felt, oh, I don't want to have anything to do with it. I just want to have a nice life. And I left. And my father was no longer alive when Israel started building the wall in Bethlehem. And so I felt like I owed it to him as well to do something for everything that he cared for and that he dedicated all his life for. So I thought at the time, I would like to save Bethlehem. And she says this wall makes life particularly difficult for anyone who wants to visit Jerusalem. Apart from the fact that it takes most of Bethlehem's arable lands and quite a few landmarks, it separates us from Jerusalem, which is a city which we have enjoyed very intimate and close relationships. In fact, the two cities are completely interdependent. I mean, we are the same diocese. We have families that are interlinked. Our economic life is interlinked. The services are interlinked. And at this time of the year, a lot of people from Bethlehem would walk to Jerusalem to celebrate Easter, as they've done for a thousand years. Uh, And that route, both historic and sacred route, has been disrupted. And she's hoping her film, which took seven years to make, will help the campaign to improve the situation. We need to ensure that we can put a freeze on settlement building as soon as possible that we can promote our city to visitors, that nobody is stopped from visiting Bethlehem, that people also feel that despite the wall, at least for the time being, that people can still come and enjoy the city. But ultimately, we want to bring down the wall. We know that the wall will not come down until there is peace between Israel and Palestine. Janice Hetherington, who lives in Byfield, says that this is something that people in Northamptonshire should care about. Most of the people in Northamptonshire this Christmas will have sung O Little Town of Bethlehem and unfortunately then forgotten about it. But, you know, at Christmas time we have a slogan in this country, a dog is not just for Christmas. Well, Bethlehem is not just for Christmas. It's a living, breathing entity. And it's the birthplace of the Christian faith. And most people really, really should understand that it is riven apart. Can you imagine looking out and suddenly this wall divides you and your neighbours, where you went to grow your vegetable plot and where you look forward to harvesting the vegetables. You can no longer do that. You can't easily mix with people who are your kin. You're continually surrounded by armed soldiers. And that's what life is like in O Little Town of Bethlehem. You can find out more about the film. You can watch the film and get other information from the website www.peaceinourname.com www.peaceinourname.com